vocabulary. Exercise one: Find the odd word out in each group. One: Skiing. Two: Tennis. Three: Rugby. Four: Judo. Five. Athletics. Six. Hockey. Two. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. One. My sister travelled around Australia last summer. Two. Andy Murray. Won the Wimbledon tennis tournament in two thousand and thirteen. Three. Nadia Comaneci competed in the Montreal Olympics when she was fourteen. Four. Last year, my family and I went to Turkey. Five. I did all my homework at school. Six. Pele started to play football for the Brazil national team when he was sixteen. Seven. One Direction became really famous in two thousand ten. Language focus. Exercise three: Complete the dialogue with the affirmative or negative form of was or were. Were you at a sports show last night? No, I wasn't. Was it good? Good. It was great. Becky and Raj were there too. Really? Yes. There were lots of different sports to try. No way. What sports? Well, there was judo. Then I did some climbing and cycling. That sounds great. I know, it was so cool, but there wasn't much time to talk to people. There weren't any famous climbers or cyclists, but there was a judo star there. Was it an Olympic champion? No, it was me. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Max. Exercise four: Write the past simple form of the verbs, then decide if they are regular. Or irregular. Regular verbs are the ones that end in ed, while irregular verbs do not end in d or ed. One, learn, learned. Two, give, gave. Three, see, saw. Four, play, played. Five, come, came. Six, live, lived. Eight, speak, spoke. Seven, finish, finished. Nine, eat, ate. Exercise five: Complete the text with the past simple form of the verbs in brackets. Doctor Ludwig Gutmann was a German doctor, and he worked in a hospital in England during the Second World War. His patients had serious problems with their backs, but Doctor Gutmann used sports to help them. He began a sports competition at the hospital. Soon, people from other countries came to the hospital games. In September 1960, the hospital games changed to the Paralympics, and the first competition took place in Rome. Athletes from 23 countries competed in the events, 
Italy won 80 medals. Speaking. Exercise 6. Choose the correct responses. 1. How was your weekend? Great, thanks. 2. I went to a tennis match. Was it good? 3. Who were you with? My mum and sister. 4. Why don't you come next time? Sure, why not? 5. Text me when you're going, okay? Okay then. Listening Exercise 7. Listen to two friends talking and answer the questions. Unit 6. Review. Exercise 7. Hi, Ellie. How are things? Hi, Louisa. Good, thanks. How was your weekend? Okay. Well, not great, actually. Oh, dear. Why? Well, I worked on my PE project on Saturday and Sunday. That sounds good. No, it wasn't. What was your PE project about? A famous sporting event. So what was your famous event? Well, I wrote about a tennis match during Wimbledon 2010. Why was that famous? Well, it was the longest match in the history of tennis. Really? Who played? The American John Isner played the French player, Nicolas Mahou. The match started on Tuesday the 22nd of June and it finished on Thursday the 24th of June. So the match was for three days? No. They stopped because of rain and other problems. So in total, the match was 11 hours and 5 minutes long. Wow, that's a long time. I know. John Isner won the match after 183 games. Really? What an amazing story. Let's go and play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> One. What did Louisa do at the weekend? She worked on her PE project. 2. What did she write about? She wrote about a famous tennis match or sporting event. 3. When was the match? It was in 2000. 4. Why was the match special? It was the longest match in the history of tennis. 5. Where were the players from? They were from the USA and France. 6. How many games did the players play? They played 183 games.